WAN 2.2 is finally here and it's a massive step up. In this video, I'm testing both the powerful new 14B model and the lightweight 5B model inside Comfy UI. We'll run image to video and text to video with the 14B and test image to video on the 5B model. You'll see how they compare in terms of quality, detail, and generation speed. So if you're deciding which model to use, this is for you. And if you're enjoying the content like this, don't forget to like the video, drop a comment, and subscribe to my channel. So now let's go to the GitHub page and see how to install the model first. So as you can see, this is the WAN 2.2 GitHub page. So as you can see, these are the new features, complex motion, generation, effective, high definition hybrid, so there's a 5B model and a 14B model. So this is good for low RAM users because it's a step ahead from the 1.3 billion parameter. So as you can see, this is the Kajays and the ComfyUI.org. As you can see, you can download the model from over here. So there are two parts for the 14B, a high noise, and a low noise version. So for the 14B model, you have to download both the things. So if you want a high noise FP8, so download the high FP8 and the low noise FP8. And there's a new VAE as well. Uh, as you can see, 2.2 VAE. You can download this and the text encoder and um, everything else is the same. And as you can see, this is the running hub. This is the image to video for the 14B. As you can see, this is the text prompt, okay? The camera slowly pans, and that's the image. And we're using the WAN 2.1 VAE right now. So you can see this looks pretty good, yeah? So let me just save this video. So let me show you a few settings for the new WAN 2.2 image to video. So in this, I'm going to show you the text to video for 14B and 5B as well. So I'm using 1024 and this was the prompt. And as you can see, we are using the clip vision save tensor file for the load clip vision. Okay, we're using the old clip. So as you can see, there are two models up. One is the high noise and the low noise we have attached. And we have to do two Kelvin samplers as well. And as you can see, this video has also turned out to be great. And uh, this is the 14B parameters one, obviously. So this was the image to video. Now let's try a few examples for the text to video for the 14B version. So I'll open the, uh, so I'll give the link for the workflow down below as always. So as you can see this low diffusion model, this is the case sampler. This is the case Sam. Okay, and we are using 121 frames. And this is the command prompt. Cinematic, real scene, and everything else. So we are using 21 frames, and this is the image, uh, sorry, the video we got. And it looks very good. And the frames are also very good, and the quality is very good. And this looks very realistic as well. So this is also an image of video that I got. Looks good. Not that bad, but nothing that extraordinary from the WAN 2.1. It's a step ahead, yes, but not by that much. So as you can see, this is the prompt close-up shot transitioning to wide shot, daylight, overcast lighting, yeah. So let's see. So this is what we got. Looks pretty decent, but still a few bugs over there as you can see the hands. So now this is the WAN 2.25 billion version. As you can see, this is the text video. Here is the prompt ultra realistic portrait of a young woman. Sorry, this is the image to video. As you saw the image previously and using the VAN 2.2, VAE and UniPC, CFGS5, and this is what we got. So this is the video that we got, and it looks pretty insane for the 5B model. Yeah. 
So this is a step way, way ahead from the 1.3 billion model. And very good for the low VRAM users as well. So as you can see, the 5B will work with only eight gigabyte of VRAM. Um, and if it will even work with six gigabyte of VRAM, but it's a step way ahead from the 1.3 billion parameters. So this is the one to look out. So as you can see, we'll test one more example. So that's the image and overhead cinematic camera. So in all of this, I'm using UniPC. As you can see, UniPC and simple. You can use UniPC and beta as well. So this is what I got. Pretty, pretty good for the 5 billion parameters portion. And it took way. So I'm using the 4090. So it took around even less than 30 seconds to make this. So this is another example just out there for the image to video. This is the 14B and this is not, uh, sorry, that was just 2.1 VAE, not the 2.2. So this is low and high. So in this, I'm using Euler and Euler at the scheduler, okay? I'm using 120 length. So this is a video that we got pretty decent as you can see, not that great because the image only was bad, the stock image. So that's why I didn't show it. And um, so as you can see, this is the Kajai's version. I don't know, I'm getting a few errors in this. If you know how to fix this, just comment down below. What's the, if I'm doing anything wrong or anything. So as you can see, this is the prompt. So this, these are a few things and this is the workflow that Kajai gave. So as you can see, this is good, but at the start, there's a lot of noise. First, as you can see right over here, there's a noise. Why is that noise coming? Okay, I've tried other things as well. I've tried other schedulers and everything. So as you can see, if you guys know anything, just comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys are liking this type of video, then please do like comment and subscribe on my channel. That would be much appreciated. Peace.